Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I want to show you how you can update the fields in a ServiceNow workspace. And when I say a ServiceNow workspace, I'm talking about the ones that are out of the box. And I'm going to show you Service Operations workspace and Major Security Incident workspace. And the reason I want to start there is because I had this great question from Natalie uh, about how to edit the workspace of Major Security Incident. She said, if yes, can you please tell me how we can do it? She wants to add two fields to the MSI workspace. So let's start there with the MSI workspace. Um, here's an incident in that workspace, MSI standing for Major Security Incident. And notice I've got my incident details here. I can click this and I can go down to the active team. I can go down to the candidate. And of course, you could do something like personalize the form to turn fields on and off. But how do you get a field that's not there onto this form? And it's actually really easy and you don't need UI Builder to do it. So let's go to a major security incident in the regular UI. Now notice on this one, I've got a couple different views, default view and nothing else. There's no view specific to major security incident workspace. So I'm gonna hope that it's the default view and it probably is because you look, I've got the active team and the candidate they're right below all the details. So it's kind of looking the same. So let's test that theory. Let's go ahead and configure the form layout. And I want to add a field to this one. And I'm going to change the order of the fields as well to see if, uh, to make sure that comes across to the workspace. All right. So I just want to add a field to this particular view. I'm going to be pretty generic. I think uh, impact is an incident field. So I'm just going to add that and we're going to put it right after uh, priority here. Um, so there's priority on the right hand side and then let's just really test our theory here and let's change, um, let's move the title up above primary state. Okay, so I've added impact and I've rearranged the order of title. I'm going to hit save and we should see that on the form here and then we're going to go to the workspace and verify that those changes pass through. Okay, so there's impact now showing on the form and notice title got moved up. Um, it's no longer where it used to be. So now let's head over to the workspace and see if those changes carry through to major security incident workspace uh, once I find it. <laughs> I got a lot of workspaces installed in this instance. All right, there we go. We've got a major security incident here. We'll open up that form and it should go ahead and update the details section based on that. So again, we're looking for impact to be over there next to priority and we're looking for title to now be on the top. Um, on the left hand side. So um, let's go ahead and look at that. Okay, title moved over there and I've got impact now showing on this particular form. So that's how easy it is to update in major security incident workspace, but let's do one better. Let's do a workspace that everybody knows, service operations workspace. So I've got my incident form here. I've got my caller location channel and I wanna do the same thing. And maybe in this case, I want to, um, Let's see, what do we want? We'll just make, we'll make some changes to the form and see what happens. Um, so I got incident, short description, description, and then number state. So it's basically a two column field or two column layout after the one column. So let's go check out um, an incident. And this is the incident form. Now I'm in the default view and I chose this example on purpose so I could show you that for more common things, notice all the views I got in this one for default view. So we're not gonna wanna change that view because it just so happens that service operations workspace has its own view on the incident form. And that's what we were seeing over there in the workspace. So I'm gonna switch to the service operations workspace. And there you see short and long description and a one column layout and then all the rest of the columns and a two column layout plus impact assignment related records just like you were seeing there in there so let's go to configure form layout and I need to switch to the right application so let's change our application scope from Atlassian to incident management for service operations workspace all right now that I'm in the right application scope let's start changing some things up I'm gonna move um, let's just change let's see what else can we do the impact urgency location let's move the location below description. So we're changing the order just like we did in the other workspace. And now let's pick a new field to add to this form that's not there already. Um, let's pick something relevant here. Ah, here we go. Let's take the business impact and we'll go ahead and add that to our form. Uh, we'll put the business impact right at the top there underneath location. So we have ordered and we've added a new field to this particular form for an incident in the service operations workspace view in the 
classic UI or the regular UI. So now if we head back to service operations workspace, we should see that update carry through to the incident form. So there's my home page loaded up. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at that incident now. And that incident should reload the form and we should see our changes to the details tab for this incident. And there we've got it. We've got location and business impact now showing on the forum in the one column view or the one column section and down in the two column section, location is no longer there because we removed it. And that's how easy it is to update these workspace forms. So I gave you two examples there, uh, major security incident management workspace and service operations workspace. You do not need to go into UI Builder. You can just change the views on the forms themselves in the regular UI and it'll update your workspace form layout and fields without having to do all that extra administration. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in quick and easy changes to the out-of-the-box workspaces in their ServiceNow instance. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.